In today's video, we are going to run through what modified broad match keywords are. It's a different keyword match type and how and why you need to use them. Again, this is Rob from my PPC training and let's get right to it. All right, so you should be logged into your AdWords account just so we can just do everything while we're all inside the same place. So go into your account. We're going to be in our white label account. <clears throat> And you're going to go under ad groups just because that's like my go-to place. So we have all our ad groups, uh, the campaign we're going to be working with. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, this video was going to be about the keyword match type modified broad match and what that is. So essentially what modified broad match is, is a keyword match type where when you find a keyword, let's just say it's uh, whatever for this, the keyword match type and you don't want to use broad match, which is this. And broad match is what brings you tons of irrelevant search traffic and people will click your ad and waste your money. Like if we if we ran this keyword AdWords reseller, Google would show our ads, even though we're looking for AdWords resellers, they would show our ads to anyone looking for search engine optimization services, SEO stuff, um, who knows, like funnel hacking stuff. It would be ridiculous. It would, it would be a huge broad range of irrelevant services that we do not offer because Google wants to monetize the keywords using broad match that, that nobody else really wants to pay for. So that's how it works. So that's why you just in your ad groups in your campaigns you just never want to run broad match keywords. You want to if you're gonna run a little broader style keyword, you want to run modified broad match. And all that is is a little plus sign in front of every word in the keyword. So when you put the plus sign this makes the key, this makes this whole keyword modified broad match. Now what does that mean? So basically, when you put the plus sign here, it's you're telling Google, "All right, Google, listen. I, I want. I'm open to suggestions that you have, but if you're going to show my ads to a broad, a broad audience, I want to make sure that in this keyword that you're going to be using, that these two words are always included in the actual search query typed into Google. So Google can say. So basically, if someone searches AdWords reseller service management company company local AdWords reseller, something like that, that if you have modified broad match on, you'll show for all those searches too, okay? Not just AdWords reseller, like if you were doing exact match. And not like broad, if, it, if this was broad match, you'd show for everything, including like uh, key lime pies in Florida. I mean, Jesus, it's horrible. That, who knows? You know what I mean? So that's, that's what modified broad match is. And it's a great tool when you're trying to expand your campaigns. So if you watch a few of our videos, you know that we always recommend you start out an AdWords campaign with exact and phrase match and then expand into modified broad match once you have some data. But most people just do all three right off the, right off the gate to get more traffic, which is fine. You just got to keep an eye on it. So it, it's important that you only use those three match types. Just stay away from broad match. I can't stress that enough in any of the videos I make because honestly, 95% of campaign audits we do for other companies when we see their AdWords campaigns and they're getting crushed, it's because they're they have one ad group with 180 keywords in it, and they're all broad match. It's just crazy. So modified broad match is where you want to go, and you would do. I mean, you can even do different variations of this. So let's do. Reseller. Program. Something like that. So now. Google, you're telling Google, all right, Google, don't show my ads for any search queries that don't have these three words in them. AdWords, reseller, program, company, well, they could add on services, whatever. You know, you get what I'm saying. So basically you're telling Google when you're using modified broad match, these, these words have to be in the search query that's being typed into Google in order for you to show my ad. And it's kind of just a way to tighten down and get your, get your traffic more high quality, more relevant and using Modify broad match, exact and phrase match keywords in your ad groups is going to also not only you know save you money because you're not wasting clicks on crap, but it's also going to drive your lead quality up because you're going to have better match uh, message matched. So it's really important, guys. Let me know if you use modified broad match in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video and check out the description links. I dropped a few a few different um, videos in the description links too for keyword research and stuff like that. And also, there's a tool that we use. I'll touch on that real quick, and I'll drop a link in the description, too. It's called AdWords Wrapper. It's right here, made by Michael Wong. 
and basically it just wraps your your tool your uh, keywords into the different match types and I'm gonna put a link in the description on how to use this tool as well so check that out it's really cool and it'll help speed up the process of building out your ad groups all right guys